Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Uh, Trigger's asleep in and Carol's lap, and uh, we are in the town of Houston, Air Arkansas. Arkansas. I was going to say Arizona. Yeah, well, that's great. Anyway, today we're on uh, the way to Petagene or Petagene State Park. I think they call it Petty John here. I'm not really sure. Anyway, they pronounce it differently. We'll Should, find out. Not the French way. Anyway, we have a turn coming up here, and um, here well, we are in Houston. We are in Houston. There's the Houston apparently. store. We did go try to find the town of Toadsuck, and apparently, there is not a town. Not really. It's kind of a neighborhood, uh, sort of. Anyway, that might have been on the last video. I'm not sure. But they didn't even have a post office. Yeah, we didn't even see a post office. So. All right, so we'll uh, see you guys when we get to Petagene or Petit Jean. I'm State sure it's Park. like Petagene. I think it's Petty John. Really? Yeah. See you there. You'll laugh. <laughs> well, we are here at Petagene State Park. Petit John, or Little John as she was known. Um, it turns out she was a 18th century young woman, French woman, and uh, she heard that her fiance was going to take off from France and explore the Louisiana Purchase. So she cut her hair, disguised herself as a male called Little John, and came forward across with them and stayed with the group. Apparently, she was fine for the voyage, but then when she got here uh, to this area, actually, she got sick and uh, ended up passing. But on her deathbed, she revealed to everyone that she was, or to her fiance, that it was her. And they buried her instead of under her real name as her name she had used on the expedition, Petit Jean, Petit Jean. So this is where her grave is, and we'll take a look. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. I love these rocks. Unfortunately, it's incredibly hazy out here. Now, I do remember checking the smoke map and it was kind of showing the whole central part of the U.S. here, you know, from central Texas up into this area as having smoke, but not a lot of fires I could find. Look at these gorgeous rocks. That's right, somewhere around here is this grave. Might actually be out here. I'm not sure. So there is some writing here and it looks like from 1948? Or is it 19 oh something? I don't know. And there's somebody. Let's see if I can get it. It's in the shade over there. From 06. Well, the grave is supposed to be around here somewhere. There's writing in a lot of these little depressions here. Very faint there. Some kinds of markings down in here. Can't really make anything out there. So we got some more over here. Oh, some right here. 1927. It's like 
four. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be. Can't be a geological marker. Oh, got all this carving in here now, obviously. Can't tell if any of this is old or not. Can't read it well enough to see. But I noticed like over here, you got Conrad or something like that. And then Miklis, pretty cool. These rocks are absolutely gorgeous though. Got a better view of them here. Just a beautiful area. Got a little pedestal rock there. Okay, so the Arkansas River, it says pre-1965, prior to constructions of roads. One of the things that we found was interesting is that there was no like barge traffic on the river, even though there was that major lock there at Toadsuck. We thought that was kind of interesting. So apparently, after the Indian Removal Act of 1830 was passed, and the Native Americans were all pushed off their ancestral lands along the Trail of Tears there, I guess there's several routes. They did come up the Arkansas River and would have been down below here on the river. Okay. I have to tell you, I'm really impressed with these rocks. Cool the way they swirl here. circular pattern over here. All right, well, we found the elusive Petit Jean grave, which really wasn't all that elusive. Just, you're so busy looking at the views, you don't look down and see the grave. And Carol did mention that the Petagine story may be a bunch of hooey. <laughs> just to make this place a little more interesting. Or romantic. Or romantic. You know, come up on these bluffs and have romanticism. All right, on to the main, well, what, we have a building over here to go look at. All right. So apparently in 1920, this had been before that, the Hotel Petitjeune, and they donated the property to the YMCA and it became the College Lodge. Pretty cool building, nice rock building. Yes, this was the central fireplace. Let's take a look back over this way. It's pretty cool. Great views. Interesting, it's fairly small. Unless, uh, well, it didn't look like the picture showed a second floor. Wouldn't have been a lot of rooms. Gotta take a look at these stones here. Check these out. Is it the base of the fireplace? Isn't that cool? Interesting sedimentation, isn't it? See this one up here isn't quite as pronounced, but it's still pretty cool. Nice designs, huh? All right. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to step down. Woo. All right, we're gonna go around the outside. 
It's kind of cool. I'm gonna go around the outside here and I'll come in on the side. Well, I didn't get out the door and turned around and just saw, look at the great patterns on the stone here. Just in the wall right next to the door. This wall's particularly nice. There's a few other places I can see that have stuff. But yeah, mostly down here towards the bottom. And it's just cool. You can see here's on the way out the door here. All up and down the column. Just amazing. All right, so we are now walking down to the lower area here. This is pretty cool. You would think if this was a hotel or something that was more like a hostel or something. It's pretty hard to imagine rooms being around here people would actually stay in. I don't know if we can go out this door and go around to the bottom and it's a bit of a drop. Nope, not really. I don't know, go out the door and see. I don't think there's any way to look at the back of this without scrambling out into the weeds, which isn't very appealing. Might be able to figure this out. I think it'd be interesting to see down below here. Now, I don't know exactly what you guys are watching. I can't watch the camera. It sort of has a mind of its own here. Hopefully I'll get back up. Aha! Jump down. Okay. Well, other than some graffiti, it looks like they built it right into the rocks here. Yeah, other than some graffiti, I don't really see anything down here. So, you know, I don't know if they had Anything else out here? Or if it was, you know, maybe they could have had a little patio thing out here or something. But anyway, so that's looking back up inside. Okay. And then back this way. Tell you, I put a long pants on today because I knew we'd be traipsing around in some bushes and this is tech country. But boy, I'm already paying for it. Totally different level of stickiness on the legs from all this humidity. All right, well, I'm gonna sign out here because I gotta figure out how to get up this rock. Well, I did survive getting up the rock and uh, going to walk back to the car now, but that was a really nice area. It's just, unfortunately, it's not clear today. You know, maybe just the, uh, the humidity or, I don't know if it's humidity or if it's fire or, you know what it is. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, I think it was well worth coming up here. I'd, I'd come up here again if we came back through the area. It's a nice story about Petagene. I don't know, I like to say, if it's true or not. Got something here. It's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, this is definitely not natural. You know, this isn't particularly earth-shaking, but it is interesting just that, uh, obviously, there was something built up here. Why or what? I don't know. Some kind of an odd, obviously man-made mound. All right, well, that mound is kind of interesting, but anyway, yeah, uh, we're still, I think, a few miles out of the park, not very far, the main part of the park. This is just a little side area. 
Man, these rocks here are gorgeous though. I mean, all the different patterns and everything. And I mean, just the natural laying rocks, let alone the ones that were inside on the rock work on the, the fireplace and the walls of the hotel college lodge. Anyway, that's it. We're gonna move on to the national, or to the state park now. The main part of the state park.